Kylie Minogue has a unique place in Australian life. There's been near universal affection for her over the years, from Neighbours, through her transformative romance with in excess frontman Michael Hutchins, to her amazingly successful pop career and her struggles with breast cancer and failed relationships. She's seriously missing Australia during the pandemic, but she's used her time in lockdown well, coming up with her 15th album, Disco. Kylie Minogue, it's lovely to see you. It's strange times, how are you faring? Pretty good, yeah. I I'm, I'm, have been so grateful and thankful to be able to be well and be working through lockdown and, uh, and to know that Melbourne and Victoria are opening up slowly as of today is a great relief for me with my family there. You must feel a long way from home at times like this. Yeah, I just, I've never felt further from home or from my family and even now I'm not, you know, I'm just a... Uh, I don't know, time's so weird right now. Was it was something yesterday or was it six months ago? Um, but it shouldn't be too long before I can get home anyway, hopefully. You recorded your new album, Disco, in lockdown in London. How did that um, affect the process compared to normally recording? That already albums? sounds weird. Disco in lockdown. <laughs> I started working on the album before lockdown, so I was, I kind of, um, we'd found our groove. I think we were, we were cantering along, not at a full gallop, but kind of cantering like, okay, we know it's called disco, we know this is the theme, we think we've got the, the kind of backbone of, of the sound and, and some, you know, banked a few songs that you can then kind of hinge everything else on. It ended up being much like being in the studio. I think we just adapted. Who would you say have been the artists who've had the most impact on you over your career? Oh, there's lots. Um, I mean, thinking of home, uh, Olivia Newton-John, I have watched a quite, a, a quite a bit of her recently in ABBA. I watched, a friend sent me a link to the ABBA movie when they were on tour and a lot of it was in Australia, it was, it was mind blowing. I don't think I saw that as an absolute rabid ABBA fan at eight, nine years old. I think for a lot of us, when we hear old songs, you know, and, and songs of favourite artists and people like that, um, they transport us right back to when we first heard them. It's really quite powerful the way music can do yeah. that. What about for you when you hear one of your old songs? Like, say if you hear I Should Be So Lucky, does that transport you back? I spent quite a few years just going, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, and, and doing everything I could to, to run from that. But now um, enough time has passed that I, I, yeah, I guess, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking if I heard I should be so lucky right now, I'm thinking about it. Um, I always think of the scene in the bath. amazing is with your fans you know you've got people that loved you in neighbors if I, if I put on I should be so lucky for them they'd just feel so happy to hear it and they're people that have loyally yeah. stuck with you you know for all of that time that must be really a very touching thing it is so touching that you hit the nail on the head it's just it's a thing of wonder and um it's been 30 plus years now and I I can't imagine what it's like through their eyes to have seen me as a Charlene in Neighbours. I thought maybe we should talk. Well, yeah, if, if you like. Um... I wonder what it would be like. I've actually never really asked anyone that. I... It would be hard to explain anyway. Like, what's your, what, How do you find my growing up? I don't know, but I suspect that Australians probably feel pride like they and sort of love like they would as if you were a member of their family or like a really favorite sort of friend oh, i hope they do and that that as we said you know it, it does it's touching and it's i i just think it's such a beautiful thing and um i guess it's one of the reasons i want to keep making music doing a film or or going on tour because you get to have that connection um, especially on tour where you it's that instant honest reaction and 
what you see is what you see. There's no, there's no questioning anything. We're together for those couple of hours. It seems like a pipe dream right now, like <laughs> the idea of touring and being able to do that. You've had, as anyone would um, by the time they hit 50 years, you've had great highs in your life and you've also had some really challenging times and, and some lows, in particular your diagnosis with breast cancer in your 30s. How do you think the hard mm. times and being confronted with your own mortality have affected your outlook on life? Uh, it, it, it affects everything, I guess, because um, I didn't know any different before that and suddenly it's a lot to cope with it shines a light on every aspect of your life, the lives of the, your family, the people you love, um, and what you want to do with your life. Um, and because my diagnosis came just before I was meant to uh, tour in Australia, it just, that, that was hovering. I mean, obviously I had much bigger things to, to cope with, but there was, there was always that goal for me uh, and I was grateful that I still wanted to reach that goal. I, I did love what I do and I wanted to keep doing what I do. Um, you hear so many stories of people um, confronting illness and and realising they want to change everything and I think that's amazing as well. That's an incredible wake-up call. Uh, mine was that I, I, there's more for me to learn and more for me to achieve and, and I, I want to get back on that stage and I want to finish this tour. People have got their tickets. I wanted to get back and do that. Well, I hope we see you back here soon, Kylie. Thanks very much for making time to speak to us today. Thank you. And can I just say, I really miss Australia and um, I just, I, I'm very happy to have connected with you today and I can't wait to come back home as soon as possible. And Kylie will be performing some of the new songs from Disco on The Sound this Sunday at 6pm on ABC TV. That's the program for tonight. Thanks for your company. Good night.